Fake it till you make it. That's the new motto of the left wing of America. Because in 2021, if you dare to disagree with liberals and dare to speak out against the rise of lawlessness in America, beware. We saw it this week with the fake rush to judgment prosecution of Kyle Rittenhouse, the young man from Kenosha, Wisconsin, brazenly mistreated by the mainstream media, the vindictive left, and even the president of the United States who lied and said that he was a white supremacist, a domestic terrorist, that he was part of a militia. This now 18-year-old was downright harassed and abused by a hostile prosecutor, a prosecutor who called into question the defendant's innocence in front of the jury simply because he exercised his constitutional right to remain silent before trial. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Material Jet here. And look, I love my job. Anyone that watches my clips or my nightly show or anything that I do knows that. I wake up every morning and I go to sleep every night with a smile on my face. I do have a problem with the producer with this clip though. Having to sit there and listen to Janine seems like cruel and inhumane torture. Her screechy, obnoxious, high tone bitch sends chills up and down my spine every time I have to sit there and watch her. I have no idea how anyone can tolerate this woman. Could you imagine being married to her? I would rather go back through airborne and sapper school than to have to listen to this jackaloon. The crowd needed a villain. It was a give us a Barabbas moment. The mob wanted blood and the DA was more than willing to appease them, giving them a 17-year-old without a real investigation. I used to think that Judge Janine was the only fringe lunatic judge out there, but then I started watching this Rittenhouse trial and that judge makes Janine seem, well, well, she's crazy no matter what, but uh, he's also in that category. Uh, that's just the way that it is. He's an old racist white guy who does not try to hide his prejudice. These guys have been in power and doing this for so long, they think they're invincible, even when the national cameras are upon them. Unfortunately, the way the judicial oversight laws are written, they're above the law and that needs to change. No judge that sits on the bench and might as well work for the defense team belongs anywhere near a courtroom, yet here we are. I wouldn't be surprised if we have hundreds of Judge Janines on the benches all across this country. Judge Janine is what you get if Trump and Sarah Nitwit Palin had a baby, a loud, obnoxious troll who does stupid things on a loop in hopes of receiving attention. There is no way anyone at Fox, yes, even Fox, can tolerate this woman. There is a reason they throw her on air very late on Saturdays when no one is watching or even in the building. I guarantee you that people that have to work with her are being punished by the network. You know how parents threaten to put their kids in timeout when they misbehave? Well, Fox employees that misbehave have to work on Judge Janine's show. Man, you know that has to suck. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.